So I think a lot of people fear ultimately realizing what their full potential is, as in like reaching it. As much as we all say we want, like that's our goal is to reach our full potential, I think there's a little bit of fear in realizing, oh, that's, that's, that was my potential. What I've found in these challenges and seeking discomfort is every single time you possibly, you put every ounce of your soul, soul into something to reach your full potential, you realize it just gets scooted out a little bit further. What if you're not living up to your potential? Just what if? What it? Um, start. <laughs> um, I think a lot of us, you know, even even the people that are operating at the highest level, will deal with that emotion. Uh, I've talked about this a lot throughout the first 75 hard journey. That I just believe potential doesn't exist because your potential is infinite. And so if we wrap our heads around the fact that like, there's no such thing as potential because we all have an infinite amount of potential ingrained in us, then you're never gonna live up to your potential. Because think about the alternative. If all of a sudden I walked into the office one day and was like, guys, I have reached my potential. Like what, like what happens next? Like that should be the day you die not at age 40 or 50 or 60. So the whole idea of potential is chasing it, but knowing that as you're chasing it, it's like that, you know, it's like a dog track, um, dog racing or whatever, where they have the rabbit or whatever that's just always a little further out. Like they never catch the rabbit. Like they, you never catch the carrot that's, that's dangling in front of you. That's the whole point of potential is that as you chase it, it's getting further away from you. Um, but when you're in that emotion, which I've felt many, 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 many times of like, what if you're not reaching it? What that really means is what if you're not putting in the activity and putting in the effort towards chasing it? And I mean, that just starts with today, doing things that you normally wouldn't have done, um, stretching yourself, getting uncomfortable, uh, that's what I love about 75 hard is because it stretches you, it pushes you. And at the end of the day, we talked about this in the vlog that came out yesterday. At the end of the day, being able to look back on your day and being proud of the effort that you put in. That's the key is being able to look back on your day and feeling a sense of pride, knowing that you accomplished what you said you were going to do. And so if you're in a feeling right now where you're not experiencing that at night, which I have done so many times, then it's just, okay, what can I do tomorrow? What goals can I set for tomorrow that when I hit them, I will have that sense of pride and sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. And as long as you're doing that, I mean, you're, you're on the right track. Um, but I think you need to completely rid yourself of this idea of reaching your potential because it'll never happen. But that's a good thing. That means that you have limitless, infinite, never ending potential. Uh, Cause you can always get better. You can always grow more. You can always do bigger things. You can always do better things. And that's just life. <laughs>